Hello everybody and welcome back to Technician's Corner here on World of Me. My name's Cougar and as you can see I've already started taking off the back panel here. This is a Latitude 7290. I'm going to be replacing the system board on it. Uh, now when you take the back panel here off, as you can see there is this yellow sticker that I'm pointing out. And that number that's on the sticker you're going to need for when you do change out one of these system boards. Uh, obviously I'm going to go ahead and disconnect the battery here. Also as you can see you can I'm in a car. Uh, I'm in a car because of the fact that the Corona has uh, limited my accessibility to working environments so fortunately I had to do this out there. Uh, while I'm doing this you can see I'm taking off a few pieces here and there. Uh, things like the Wi-Fi, the uh, the various card adapter pieces, etc., etc. Uh, things like, for example, um, the little covers that hold on the Wi-Fi card, and also the one that's there holding on the plug for the LCD. Um, there's a few other cables here and there that I will be unplugging, like the DC in port. Uh, plug that of course is for the round dongle uh, that you plug in from the wall and uh, from there there are also a handful of screws uh, that you'll be taking out in other places here is the hard drive which of course uses one of the M.2 style hard drives and then with this model there are if I remember correctly, nine screws all the way around the system board. Uh, so what you're going to want to do is make sure make sure you keep track of all of them. Uh, they are all labeled on the board. So basically you're just going to look for the little white arrows when you go to do this or go to put them back in. And uh, make sure you keep them uh, in a safe place. Now down here at the bottom corner uh, on what is my left hand side there is the plug-in uh, there's two of them there that uh, I will be releasing one of them is for actually the power button which includes the LED the other one is for the uh, front end speakers there the little watch battery uh, is plugged in down there but the little watch battery is something that we generally just leave in there because uh, get a new watch battery with a new system board when we put it in. Uh, now you do want to of course uh, pull the wires loose for the Wi-Fi card there. It does get uh, seated in some uh, little rubber uh, keepers that hold it down against the board. And then also here across the bottom where the RAM is, there is a little metal heat shield type piece uh, that is held by one screw on one side. Uh, make sure you do detach any ribbon cables that there might be. On this one there just happens to be the one that goes to the touchpad uh, that also uh, corresponds to the keyboard. The next thing I'm doing here is uh, disconnecting the fan and then of course I will be taking the screws out for the fan and the heat sink which of course all have to come off. Uh, when you go ahead and lift this up do be careful because uh, the heat sink will bend. Um, it is actually rather thin copper so it's easy for it to uh, flex and bend and then cause there to be a kink in it uh, of which you don't want to happen. Uh, you do, of course, want to do here, uh, which is cleaning off the excess thermal paste, the old stuff that was there. Uh, it is, of course, a little bit dry, and uh, we want a nice clean surface for when we put new thermal paste on there. Now, as you can see, lifting it out is fairly simple. It does kind of seat into one side. Uh, a couple of the little connections go into the housing, so you want to make sure that those connections do kind of slide in there or slide out when you're uh, you know either putting it in or removing it. Uh, now the new board does come with some tape that goes over the ribbon cable uh, connections so obviously remove that. 
Then of course we just take the old one, slide it into the anti-static bag, and set it aside so that we can send it in to have it refurbished. Now of course when you're seating this back down, make sure you take note of where all the cables are at because of course it's very easy to get them pressed down underneath the edges of the system board uh, over there on the corner. Uh, of course again I have two wires one was a little bit underneath it that's what I'm adjusting for there and of course there before you could see I pulled the flat ribbon cable out from underneath it as well so uh, just be very aware of that when you do put these back together and of course putting these back together is very much just the reverse of taking it apart you're going to of course reseat cables and you're going to put the screws back in and everything else uh, the only real difference is going to be here when we go ahead and apply thermal paste and the thermal paste of course we're going to apply a thin coat onto the processor area and you can see there are two dies or cores that are on the chip uh, the large one is going to be the actual CPU core the smaller one is actually going to be the GPU core since the GPU is contained with the CPU. On some laptops they are all one piece but on other laptops like this one for example they are uh, separate pieces or separate dies and there we go. So if you guys like this video uh, please go ahead and leave a thumbs up and uh, hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed as well as the bell icon to let you get notified of when I've got new videos here on World of Me and don't forget to go down below into the description there is of course the links to the various social media as well as the PayPal link that takes place of Patreon alright guys well my name's Cougar this is Technician's Corner here on World of Me I'd like to wish you all a good day and I will see you later. Bye.